It's my first dermatology meeting. Um, I'm really excited because skin. beautiful people is Kayla I'm back again with another video so today I am going to my first dermatology meeting appointment whatever you want to call it <laughs> as you can see I'm coming to y'all fresh faced no makeup no nothing the main concern is my dark spots and my acne um give you a closer look but yeah um I have been dealing with hyperpigmentation and acne marks since I started puberty. It's actually probably one of my biggest insecurities. Oh my God, it looks so orange. It's so, like the lighting is so bad y'all. Like it is cloudy as hell out here and it's just, it's bad. Like I was saying, it sucks because I think it's a form of genetics as well because my mom has really bad acne and scarring and stuff. But literally out of her four kids, I am the only one who has dark spot problems. I'm tired of looking like a chocolate chip cookie. I want to look like, I don't know, a sugar cookie, fresh. Like just, last year is kind of when I started getting real serious about my skincare routines and everything like that. Um, I'll insert some pictures um, somewhere in this area to show you guys what I like started off with before I started taking my skin seriously. And it did start to clear up a little bit, but with all this corona and stuff going on and having to wear the mask, like my skin has been going crazy. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna take you guys with me today, but I will just tell you this. If you're not subscribed, you can't come with me. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules, like, like I'm gonna let y'all give y'all a quick little two seconds to do that all right all right let's go I'm in here now like my hair looks crazy but I'm currently waiting on my doctor her name is Dr. Ole I think that's how I pronounce it yeah like I'm just I can't this is as I've seen some people but like it's gotta go I really hope that she can help me out. Hopefully she'll let me vlog in here. I think I'll be okay. So, we gon' see. So we're here for your acne. Yeah. As well as some of the pigment that's mm -hmm. left behind, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I see most of the dark spots in the lower face. Mm -hmm. Is that where you mostly get your breakouts? Yep. Yeah. Got it. Does yours tend to have a hormonal pattern? I think so because sometimes I go, sometimes when I'm on birth control, it lightens up a little bit. Okay. And then when I go on my stints, when I'm off of it, it kind of flares up a little bit more. Got it. But it's just back and forth. Got yeah. it. Did you start it for your acne or just for like fertility? I started it for irregular periods. Got it. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. Alrighty. So you have adult female acne. Okay. I tend to have a hormonal component. And we tend to see it in adult females and it tends to love kind of follows the jawline. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, in skin and color, you're also dealing with the pigment that comes after the acne. Okay. Mm -hmm. That we also need to address. Okay. But I often find that we need to take something orally or systemically mm -hmm. to address it best. Okay? okay. Right now on your face, I'm actually not seeing as much active buffs, okay? I'm yeah, that's the thing. So the it's man. the pigment. Yeah, like, I don't get a lot of it. It's just, it looks like I get a lot of acne. It's just the scarring doesn't go away. Got it, got it. Long. So on an average month, how many would you get? New bumps. <sighs> oh. Well, you know what? If you get two, more than five, uh -huh. I'd say it's worth treating it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Only because, you know, even if you get five a month, at the end of six months, there's a 30 new bumps that we're now having to then treat. Mm -hmm. There's an oral medication called spironolactone that I like a lot to address the acne. It's a diuretic, but it binds to some of the hormone receptors on the skin. So it helps to reduce you from getting new spots. Okay. okay, it takes two to three months to kind of kick in, but once it kicks in, you notice that every month you get a lot less new bumps. Okay? okay, and then we need to treat the pigment as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so usually I like to do some form of hydroquinone, which is a lightening cream initially. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do that for about three months, and then I transition you to like a non hydroquinone lightener. 
Okay. okay. I also love doing chemical peels and people of color. Okay. I think that's a great way to kind of help to achieve even skin tone. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it also help that pigment kind of lift up a little quicker than just the creams alone. Right. Okay. okay. Whenever we're dealing with pigment, we have to address the sun. Okay. I'm not worried that you're going to burn, mm -hmm. but I do want to reduce the amount of sun that's on your skin because mm -hmm. otherwise it's going to be fighting us as we're trying to kind of get that pigment to fade. Okay. So every morning I want you to get a moisturizer that has an SPF 30 at least in it and make sure that you kind of cover in your face and protecting them from the sun. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pigment is going to probably take forever to go away. If we did nothing, it probably goes away in like four to six months. With the treatments, I'm hoping closer to three to four months, we're getting some improvement. But you know, we may find that once we get all the acne better, mm -hmm. there's still some pigment that we need to treat. So mm -hmm. we may need to do you know, chemical pills, microneedling, we incorporate other treatments to kind of get that pigment off mm -hmm. once we get the acne under good control. Okay. What questions do you have for me about that? Because I've heard a lot about the hydroquinone. Uh, I think like over the counter is like only like two percent. Exactly. Something. Yeah. So the only common one is like the Ambi. Yeah. That's two percent. Mm -hmm. Usually I do one that's about a six percent. Okay. And I also combine it with a bit of a tretinoin, which is like a retinol, mm -hmm. which also serves as a treater acne, but also serves as a lightener and an exfoliant. Okay. So that combination does help much more than what the over the counter one would do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have brought some products that I use. Sure. Did you want to your opinion on them? Thank you. <laughs> This is what I normally use every day. I use the Murad for um, my SPF. Okay, perfect. And then I I use, okay, I heard a lot about this. I don't know what you think about that. Okay. And yeah. it's Same thing as Andy. It's 2% hydroquinone. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, it's a good place to start, but mm -hmm. if you've been using them for a while and you're still not seeing a lot of lightning, yeah. then we just need to go stronger. Okay. Okay. I do too, but I don't know that so glycolic acid, salicylic acid. So there's a good exfoliant. Okay. They help to dry out your acne mm -hmm. when you get them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not bad to keep it on board. Okay. They may be good for like some spot treatments. Okay. It helps when spots are up, but they don't help to prevent new spots from coming. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So not bad when they hold on to. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think what you're doing is fine. It's just not enough. You right. Know? So we just need to kind of add things on board. The, the um, spray lock is going to do one tap it at night time. In the morning, we're going to do a little bit of um, Axe on the spring lock and cream. Mm -hmm. And at night time, we're going to do the hydroquinone and tretinoin. Okay. okay. And then whenever it works well for you, let's go ahead and get started on the chemical pills. You're probably going to need a series of them. So we mm -hmm. have you do like two to three treatments. You mm -hmm. do about a month apart. Okay. You're going to kind of plan it well on your social calendar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Most people peel about three to seven days after they get their peel done. Just make sure you plan it well so it's a good time for you. Okay. And you guys do them here? We what? do, we do, yeah. Okay. So we have so across the hall with our aesthetics department. Okay. And um so we have an esthetician, one of our esthetician Jamisha would be great for you. Okay. Let's see the cosmetic treatments. Your okay. does not cover it. So chemical okay. pills range great to the one you do from probably like one ninety five to sometimes a little over two hundred. Okay. I admit, like I am a picker sometimes. Uh -huh. So but sometimes I don't pick. And like like this one right here, um, I didn't pick it, it just grew up and then it just went away, but I still got a scar That's just because of my skin type. Not yours, and skin of color in general. If that bump comes up, you get a scar, okay? Mm -hmm. So even if you do nothing to it, if you pick it, the scar is a worse scar than you otherwise would have gotten. It tends to be a bigger scar because you kind of stretch the scar a bit by picking it. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times you get a scar either way, you mm -hmm. know? So that's why a lot of what we do needs to be preventing the new bumps. Other questions? I think that's everything. Okay. <laughs> so we um, gotta be patient. It doesn't work right away. Okay. okay. Yeah. Six to eight weeks is around the time when we we'll start to see improvements, okay? And then I like to see back around that eight to 12 weeks, okay? okay. So in two to three months. That's a good time for us to kind of risk that's where we are, okay? We should see some improvement by then. That's also a good time where we can make changes mm -hmm. if it's still not quite where we, where, where we think it should be. Okay. Okay. Other questions? No, that's everything. Thank okay. you so much. Okay, my pleasure. So let's plan a visit back in three months, okay? Okay. And then contact us sooner if you have any questions or concerns, okay? Okay. All, All right. right. Give my nurse a few minutes. She's going to kind of get everything that we discussed written down for you. Okay. And then um, and then she'll come right back in and get you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, y'all. I am back. Um, it was really a quick point. I've only been there for like, 
an hour or so. But yes, the appointment went really, really good. Very informative. She broke it down for me. Like she was really sweet and very nice. Pretty much, you know, just with being a black woman, a melanated woman, when it comes to bumps and everything, I'm gonna get scarring and I'm pretty sure it's with my genetics too. The nurse, she actually got me this little goodie bag full of samples of a lot of products some CeraVe in here which I already use so it's never it's not bad to have some more so um yes public figure y'all the nurse just followed me she is so cute I love her anyway she um prescribed me these three products here I'm not even gonna try to pronounce them these three products here I take one in the daytime and the rest at night. I have to go actually get the um, Spiral No Lock Tone. Listen, don't quote me on this. I don't know if I'm saying this shit right at all. The other two I did buy from the office, these here. So she said I won't really see results until like two, like three months. I'm gonna be patient. And she also gave me this little booklet full of just informational stuff. I haven't even gone through it yet. I'm just getting back in the car. Yeah, and she said I can contact her anytime. I'll definitely leave her information in the description if you guys wanna check her out if you're in the Atlanta area in North Fulton. That's where she is. I can't wait to start this skincare journey because baby, I ain't trying to look like a pizza my whole life, okay? Like, it's really embarrassing sometimes. I don't like it. Anyway, I think I'm actually gonna go to Ulta really quick because I need some more concealer and I might pick up a little, a few little things. All right, y'all, I'm back. Back from Ulta, my favorite place. But um, I just got some of that e.l.f. concealer. I've heard like some really good things about this, so I'm kinda excited to try that out. The Bear With Me setting spray. Um, I saw Aaliyah J use this, and I'm kinda looking for a setting spray to give me like a more natural type finish for the summertime type vibes or whatever. And then just some more beauty lenders, cause you never go wrong with that. So thank you for coming to my mini haul. Like, you know, makeup is my passion. I love this. <laughs> But yeah guys, so that's the end of the vlog. I'll definitely probably be giving you guys like a one month update after using these products. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I can can't wait to go on this skincare journey with you guys. Just so you guys know, like you're not alone with this skin stuff. As flawless as my makeup bay look on camera, like <laughs> this the real me. But no, this is this is me. This is this is what I look like on a daily basis. Can't be makeup caked up every day i refuse especially in this georgia weather this georgia weather just just all right guys so i will see you in the next video please be sure to like comment and subscribe